What would you point to as the major advantage and difference for them tonight? Well, there was a you know disadvantage on the glass, of course, but you know I just think um, you know we didn't have the same energy, that same defensive disposition as the other night. Not in it in totality. We had it in stretches, um, but uh, obviously Gaff getting hurt, you know that that put us at a deficit, and then he missed about six minutes in that window. Forced to downsize a little bit, so I think we were off kilter offensively as well uh, with Kuz at five. Not something that we've done a ton of this year, but um, give them credit. You know, they, they played well. They, they defended, uh, shot the ball well. So, um, you know, to their to their credit, they uh, they deserve to win that game. How is Gaff doing? And you mentioned Denny. It looked like maybe his hand. Or yeah, I think it's just thumb. I don't think it's anything substantial. Just got it caught in a jersey um, and, and tweaked it there. Uh, Gaff um, took a shot to the head, so just being evaluated. Uh, coach, especially there in the third quarter, what did you see from the team's energy? Do you think that, that was maybe a little bit lower than what you would have wanted to see? Well, I think it's Burt's not just in the third, but, you know, throughout. Um, a lot of it is, you know, when you don't make shots, and there's a little bit of frustration in that in that area. I think it does take away a little bit from your defense. Um, we got to be able, able to, you know, compartmentalize those two and, um, you know, stay with our process offensively and, you know, anchor ourselves defensively in what we need to do. We had some good possessions, you know, and then you just don't come up with a offensive rebound or defensive rebound, rather. Uh, the ball gets kicked around and the loose 50-50 ball we don't get. So, you know, those are the tough ones. Wes, what was um, Isaiah Stewart doing in particular? It looked like he, he got under Kuz's skin um, when he was guarding him often. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, two competitive guys. You know, I think that's part of the game. Um, Sorry, I just meant what was he doing on defense? Oh, nothing. To... I mean, it's, you know, they, they're switching and, you know, um, at times that, that can bottle you up. Uh, I thought Kuz had some drives, maybe got fouled and they weren't called, so that leads to a little bit of frustration. But like I said, yeah, I'm not going to take anything away from Detroit. They, they played a good game. What do you think about the way uh, Patrick Baldwin took advantage of the opportunity today? I think, I think he did well. Uh, to his credit, came in, made some shots, um, stepped up with confidence, and I think when the ball found him, he – you know, those were great looks for us, uh, especially against traditional coverage. He's going to have to do more of that, you know, when he gets the opportunity. Uh, stretching the floor, open up the court a little bit, use his shooting to his advantage um, and space a little bit. So it's good to see the ball go in. Why do you feel like you guys um, have struggled so far this season to kind of bring consistent effort or same type of energy um, from game to game? Um, I mean, you could point to a number of things. Um, you know, I think we have too many stretches where just our attention to detail kind of falls off. Um, attention to detail, physicality, uh, and, you know, I think those are a couple of things you can always point to and lean on where uh, sometimes we, we kind of lose that a little bit. Uh, as for your question to why, you know, you know, it could be a number of things. Every person, every player is different, has different triggers and, and ticks and things that make them go. Um, and I think that's a question where individually we all have to look at ourselves. You know, how do I how do I carry out and do my job? Um, how do I pay attention to details and stay on that the whole game? Um, how do I continue to play physical and play the right way? It's, it's different for from player to player. Everybody has a different way of getting to that, and I think uh, it's more of an individual question than a collective. Kind of to that point, you've obviously had to come in without much ramp up time because of injuries and everything like that um, for the past couple of weeks. What have you been been focusing on to have good stretches when you will come on court and, and a little bit cold without much playing time? Uh, just trying to do my job. Um, there's a lot of uncontrollables in this uh, in this industry and in, in basketball. You know, you can't. None of us on the team can control night to night. You know, minutes. Um, shots going in or not um, you know some of that stuff there's there's just a lot of a lot of things and variables that are out of our control and I try to just hone in on the things that I can um, and and be a good teammate show up communicate uh, be a voice try to lead um, I think doing that kind of taking the onus on yourself to take ownership of you know knowing what's going on and being a voice and a leader like it translates to you know better presence for myself on the court. You know, I feel better going stepping on the floor. Uh, so staying engaged throughout the whole game and um, that's kind of it. 
Landry, um, Patrick Baldwin Jr. has been getting more and more minutes, and it seems like he's really been taking advantage of him. And he's he knocked down all three of his uh, threes tonight, I believe. Um, what have you seen from him? What do you like about his game? Yeah, I mean, he's a he's a basketball junkie, man. I mean, he loves he really loves this. Um, <clears throat> you can you can feel that on him, you know, uh, all the time at the facility. Uh, just he's always watching highlights or film or. Whatever, like he, he's just that's just him. So, um, you know, he knows the game. He's young. He's still learning, um, but I think what he, you know, can can give to a team is, you know, it's it's valuable. You have a big guy, bigger guy like that who can stretch the floor and, um, you know, be versatile defensively for us, or we could kind of start switching one through five, you know, it, or have him in coverage. Either way, you know, he uh, he's able to offer that, and he's got obviously. A, Tremendous amount of upside being so young. So um, you know, I'm happy for him to kind of start finding a little bit of rhythm here and uh, getting going. What was your reaction to the uh, trade this week, and what do you think that Marvin Bagley and Isaiah Livers can bring to Washington? Yeah, a couple young guys, um, you know, um, and you know, obviously Marvin, you know, filling that role of, you know, obviously we get rid of Gallo and, and Mike. Um, Marvin coming in as a as another five, a big body who, you know, again, kind of talking about Pat, he does some similar things, versatile, uh, plays along the perimeter a little bit, um, good ball mover, um, and and he'll be able to bring some things some things to us along with Isaiah, you know, just a couple of versatile young guys who I think are going to come in and work hard from everything I'm hearing um, and contribute to just trying to get better. Following up on Bijan's first question about Patrick's night, um, it seemed like that second quarter, especially early in the quarter, was probably one of the best stretches of the of the game for uh, you guys as a team. A lot of that was led by you and Pat. What went well for you guys during that six or seven minute stretch? Uh, I mean, you know, I think we were defending. We were really connected. Um, that's always where it starts. Uh, I think where teams go wrong and where we've gone wrong in the past is getting caught up and thinking it's just shots going in. Yeah, you know, your question was about offensively how we got it going and I think that's a byproduct of what we were doing defensively. We were connected, flying around, um, didn't give up a ton of offensive rebounds in that stretch. Um, you know, taking care of those little things like that typically leads to good things on the other end. Um, and so we were able to do that. Uh, and I think that's the biggest piece for sure.